So right, so we're back in the Make the Cut software. This is part two of the video of, uh, of Pixel Tracing the Bunny. Now we're going to layer it into its own individual pieces using some of our toolbar features that we have down here as well as our color palette over here dealing with a little bit of layers. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and change my theme to contrast just because uh, I, I can visualize the colors a little clearer and uh, we can see what we're working with. Then I'm going to go ahead and select the bunny and we're going to use the layer feature which is right here and or you can hit control L and I'm just going to click that and what that does is it gives me a background and a foreground. So once we have that I can now slide this bunny over here and I can see what pieces I'm working with and I cannot click individual pieces yet because I have not uh, separated it into its own individual pieces yet but we're going to get there. So as you can see I cannot click any pieces it selects it as a whole and we're going to use the split feature in order to uh, in order to allow us to grab these these pieces so let's go ahead and select the bunny and I'm going to go ahead and use the split feature which is right here or control P and I always think of the split feature as you're pouring water on on this mat here and when the water flows it flows around each object and it doesn't flow inside so for example I cannot click the inside of the ear it's a it's attached to this main body right here you know just like I can't click the nose but uh, Make the Cut does allow those features and we'll be using it here shortly. Now uh, I'm going to go ahead and group all the colors that I uh, that I want as the same color. For example, I want I want this body here the same color as the uh, the feet. So I'm going to go ahead and select the body. I'm going to hold the shift button down, select the feet, and I'm going to go ahead and move it to its own layer so we can go ahead and color it. I'm going to do that by clicking this button right here, the little plus sign and I can go ahead and select the color palette and decide what color I want the the bunny to be. So I can go ahead and select that. Now uh, you know just like for the the little stomach right here I'm gonna go ahead select that I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing make it its own new layer and now I can give it its own little little color. So that looks good. Now for example say I wanted to color the nose but I cannot select the nose right now. Well, in order for me to do that, I can go ahead and select that main body right here. I'm going to go ahead and break it this time. In order to break, it's the button right here, Control B, and that that will break up all the inside pieces, you know, and and outside pieces if I had any. But uh, but that will work for now. And I can go ahead and select the nose, and I can move it to its own layer or I can even select you know the the inner ear or outer ear anything I want I can hold the shift button by doing so but I just want to do the nose I'm gonna move it to its own layer and now I can give it its own uh, own color so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move this nose out of here so we can show you what uh, what the, all the pieces look like together uh, I'm gonna move that over there I'm gonna go ahead and select its main body again just so I can combine or I'm going to join all these pieces right here so it's one one big piece so I'm going to go ahead and hit the uh, the join button right here control J and that will just just make it nicer for when we're trying to move these things I can move the nose back and now I can go ahead and move the whole body itself over to the uh, the original background just to give you uh, idea of what it looks like. So that that in a nutshell is sort of how layering a piece would work and uh, over here you use the eyeballs to decide whether or not you want to cut that piece or not. So say you're only working with your blue piece of paper you you hide all the eyeballs that aren't blue and you can go ahead and cut the blue and you would just change the show hide options depending upon what you want to cut right now. So I uh, hope this tutorial was useful with, uh, with learning how to use layering and decide what color you'd, you'd like to use with your Make the Cut.